Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you for your likes, overwhelming comments, negative, positive. Both of them are welcome apart from insults. Apart from insults. I don't know why people are so fond of insults. Like someone will just listen to you and they'll feel like you are the most stupid person. You're the idiot. You are what? You are the witch. You are <laughs> Stop being witch. Not everyone is a witch. Okay. If you are a witch, you are a witch. That's up to you. Don't pull it to us. Don't pull it to me. Okay. Welcome my subscribers for always coming in, checking on me. Thank you for your overwhelming messages that you always write to me, correcting me sometimes, reasoning together with me and sharing a lot that you always share. Thank you for the emails and everything. My new subscribers, you are always welcome to this channel. Kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit on this notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be among the first ones to be notified. So happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to our boy, David Jr. David Jr. with his friends in Nairobi. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. Do you know what is happening? David is just popping out and I'm like, let me watch what is happening during this uh, David Jr.'s birthday. Actually, what I really wanted to see was, was the cake. Because from some times back, I knew that someone had sent a cake to David Jr. Uh, that was the time before uh, I pulled out David Jr. and Uncle Mo's issues about the lady in America, the money and everything, and what Uncle Mo did and everything. A cake, that cake was already booked for David Jr., so I knew this thing. You know, people came out telling me, go and uh, apologize to David Jr. and Uncle Mo. Go and do that. I told you guys, I have my receipts. If something goes wrong somewhere, I know where to represent these receipts that I have. I had known already that this cake was booked. I know where the cake, the cake was booked. I know the person who was making that cake. Okay. So I knew the cake will be coming. So when this notification came, actually it was a live video. All I wanted to see was that cake. That is it. I just wanted to see if this cake was really delivered. That was my concern because it's something that I knew from like one month ago. Okay. I'm just there listening to David Jr. and everything. And uh, I'm just waiting for the cake to come. I really wanted to see it, you know. And then in the live stream, I see people complaining about David Jr. flirting with another girl. This girl called Casta. Is it Casta? The girl is just flirting with David Jr. Like, 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 like no one's business. And David Jr.'s wife-to-be, Mick Mick, is just sitting there doing nothing helplessly <laughs> do you know what i forgot about the cake guys i forgot about the cake that i was waiting for i was like wait which one is this one sogoro has woken up in this boy the spirit of sogoro the grandfather has woken up in this boy the boy is flirting like live live on camera with this girl in front of his girlfriend and the girlfriend is sitting there helplessly doing nothing hey i'm looking at david jr and i can't really finish looking at him you know i'm just trying to imagine if it was me i'm telling you guys the way those tables would have turned around in that place eh? <laughs> i don't know the kind of girl these boys get into I don't know. Anyway, so I stop looking at this video. I post the video and then I go straight to check on what reactors are talking about. Reactors in the comment section, I call them keyboard reactors. These are the most powerful reactors on the streets, more than the ones that come on camera. The ones in the comment section, I salute you. Guys, you are the most powerful, most reasonable, most smart guys. I respect you. I fear you guys. I respect you. 
I said, let me go and see what reactors are talking about. Keyboard reactors. Guess what I, I came up with? Guess what I found in the comment section? Leave alone the live chat. Because, you know, I had to stop that video first and let it finish. Let it just finish, you know. I, I couldn't. It was really not interesting when I saw these things. Yeah? It was very upsetting on my part. It was very upsetting. So I was like, let me stop it. I'll come back in the comment section. So I just came back in the comment section and I want to share with you some of the comments that our reactors, our beloved reactors left for David Jr. Okay, let's go. So guys, listen to this one. <laughs> Devi, you are making your girlfriend uncomfortable with another woman feeding you not cool, disrespectful. Do you know why this comment came about? Let's watch this. Let's watch this video, okay? Yeah, so we can see me, Miss Lina. Happy birthday. Enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. He's here. Enjoy as he should. Let me get him a bite so he can enjoy as well. Yeah, guys. has been here. Beautiful. Now, after watching this video, is when I think that's where this person picked it from. Like, this is what he said. Devi, you are making your girlfriend uncomfortable with another woman, feeding you not cool, disrespectful. Under that comment, the people replied down there, like, it won't end well. Another one said, true that. Shame on you, Devi Jr. Or is she your wife to be? Seems like it. You never called your girl beautiful. Big shame on you. Hey. I, I, we just want to go through these messages, guys, together. Another one said, either your relationship with Mik Mik is a fake shame or a fake shame or a, a shape, a fake scam or whatever it is, or you are too immature to have a woman. If Mik is your girlfriend or future wife, as you claim, treat her as such. Happy birthday, Devi. Wish you many more, but always keep your girl close, not other girls, even if you are friends. It hurts. Enjoy your day. Kudos to Mik Mik for being calm and collected, despite the embarrassment. If it were me, tables will fly. Even me. If it were me, tables will really fly in that place. In fact, there will be no birthday in that place at all, at all. But according to what this girl said, almost at the end of that video, that girl, the one that was talking too much, uh, Casta, Casta said that there were issues before this video started. So it looks like they kind of blackmailed this girl, Mick Mick, to keep quiet and say that, oh, you know what, we are just friends, we're just friends, nothing is here. It looks like she complained and then something happened before that, according to what Caster said in the end of that video. But this lady, this person, this one is a woman. Definitely. If it were me, tables will fly. <laughs> Another one say, it is said indeed Devi, Devi Mick is feeling uncomfortable there. Please be mindful of your actions. Happy birthday. Devi, now you have a girl friend. You must be respectful to her and not hugging on other girls even though they are friends. Always make her feel that she is your one and only because you are advertising her publicly as your wife. Yeah. This is what people are telling Devi Jr. Let's proceed. Devi and Casta make a great couple. Happy birthday, Devi. Wishing you the best in this new year you got. This one is a witch. You cannot come here to tell Devi Jr. just in front of, of his girlfriend that uh, Devi and Casta, you make a good couple. Just because they are vibing. They are vibing because they are friends, you know. And Mick Mick is there. And David Jr. has been a friend with Casta for a very long time. Why didn't he choose Casta to be the girlfriend? Why did David Jr. choose Mick Mick to be the girlfriend? We are coming close to what happened in Washington about the Polish girl. We are coming close to that story, you know. These boys have this tendency of choosing quiet, vulnerable women to play with them. You understand? It's close to that story. 
Let's proceed reading the comments. Happy birthday, David Jr. Enjoy your day to the fullest. David Jr., you are... Eh? David Jr., why are you disrespecting your girlfriend like that? You should be in company of her during your birthday. How would you feel if she did the same behavior in front of you? Stop it and please go get her to be with you. Look at her expression on her face. It was sad, guys. David, don't act like that with that girl. I understand she's your friend, but that can make your girlfriend uncomfortable and unhappy. Just a suggestion. I can be your mom. I know how girls can be from USA. Haha, -ha, the disrespectful though. I will wait for Coco Mama and BBTV on the reaction. <laughs> Please wait. They are coming. Don't worry. Another one said, Happy birthday, Devi. Now you said Casta is your girl. Let the drama begin. Another one now replied, You had that right to grab popcorn and laid back. Let the movie begin. This one is Casta. Casta is enjoying making uh, this mic mic feel bad. You know, just because she's a friend. She's all over the place feeding the Virginia going with the junior around going around, you know laying on 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 his neck on his shoulder ne hey this girl i've met some girls like that before yeah they knew who i am and where i came from we met uh, i've met them i've met those kind of people in my life very fake friends this one said this is so unfair to this mic mic to this girl, Mick Mick, I will advise her to leave David Jr. This relationship will never work if this is how he treats her. I feel her pain. She tries to smile, but beneath her smile is pain. Yes, she really tried. She was really like trying to pretend like everything, but she couldn't hold it. Look, guys, just see how she was. She couldn't. There's no she could. You know, she couldn't. It was just too much for her. It's the biggest disrespect I've ever seen on a woman. Wow. People came for David Jr. Another one said, David, how dare you? Hurting an innocent person, it will always come back at you. Get ready and don't complain when it happens to you. David Jr., go and ask Maro what he has seen. <laughs> this young man and his family have polygamy in their blood. Someone says, why embarrass your girlfriend this way? This is crazy. On that comment, people replied. One said, discouraging. He wanted Muniva Stella. And remember, now Stella is not in the picture. He was, she was not even in that party. If she was a true friend, then she would have been around, maybe. Another one said, he is a player. Yes, just like his own brother, like his own grandfather. Yeah, actually, someone said, like the grandfather. <laughs> I thought I was the one who said it. Yeah, like the grandfather. Like the, the boys just now, you know, like following. The blood is thicker than water, guys. I feel bad for Mick Mick. Another one said, Devi, you seem more connected emotionally and affectionately to that girl than your girlfriend. Behave that's a disgrace and disrespect to your girlfriend. Well, so guys, that's some of the information that I've collected from the Virginia side. Flirting around with this girl. Um, what, what's her name? Casta. While Mick Mick, the wife to be, is just sitting there helplessly doing nothing, you know? This is how this boy is have been taught to be treating women. There is nothing we can do about it. We just have to sit back and watch them. When we come out with this reaction, they listen to the reaction. If they feel like they want to pick a few things and learn from them, it's okay. If they feel that this is what makes them happy because David Jr. was very happy when he was doing this thing. People are complaining on that live chat, but he was laughing and laughing. You know, he was like, he was really enjoying the moment. Like, hey, I'm the boy here. You know, he was even telling this girl like, hey, beautiful lady, you know, giving the girl all the praises, you know, in front of the camera. What does that mean? David Jr. has joined the gang. 
the men who don't respect ladies they the men who don't respect girls so he's in in this because now he understands that mick mick is a quiet girl what will she do she's a quiet girl let me flat around you know let people understand that i am a man this is their definition of being a man that's what um we are learning because we have seen marwa doing the same like he he doesn't want to deal with women who reason you know women who are mature enough to reason together with them and have a mature conversation and stuff no they want to go for those vulnerable people that they can just control you know if he says something the girl will be like you know bending hey make me run run for your life i'm telling you girl run 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 for your life what i have seen today is not something that it's going to be there for a very long time thank god that this boy has at least shown you who he is this is him and if you are going to keep quiet for a very long time make me take my advice he is going to do worse things than what he has done today if this is how he can treat you on his birthday instead of bringing you the girlfriend close to show everyone around like this is my girl make make run for your life you are still a very young girl you are still in school concentrate on your studies they are very respectful men that you will meet in your life very very young oh my god i looked at that girl i was like what a waste what a waste she's been going around with david junior they've been doing that stuff you know and oh my god what a waste what a waste after all that he's coming out to show off like that i mean it's very disgusting guys it's very very disgusting make me run for your life run for your life run for your life in other news mr mtua is paying uber for uh, marwa in washington dc in other words marwa is fully depending on this man mr mtua who is hosting him i don't know if that makes you sad at some point i don't know how you feel about that but for me i felt like oh my god this also won't last long it won't last long you know why would you leave your host to pay for your uber you have your money you came in with a lot of money from kenya you got your first salary there have been money coming in when he was collecting money at ivan's house doing lives and collecting all the money in the cash app until even the cash app went to close money has been coming on people and everything the man has been calling for money 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 all over and you are leaving mr mtua after feeding you after doing everything for you you still allow him to pay for your uber like seriously amarwa let the keyboard reactors talk about that one I leave that one to the keyboard reactors. In other news, Miss Trudy, Miss Trudy has done it again. Miss Trudy took her whole family in uh, in Mombasa where they were going to do the the traditional wedding for for her brother's wife. Miss Trudy paid for the ticket from Mombasa to Nairobi. She paid for uh, she paid the ticket for her sister in law to enjoy a flight for the first time ever it was very emotional guys go and watch that video it was very very emotional i couldn't miss trudy is that rich auntie you know in every family we usually have that rich auntie we call them american auntie uh, dubai aunties those kind of people who will just come in and they will make people enjoy she you know she got a house in Mombasa from uh, Sarakabu the billionaire lady the owner of Bonfire Adventures we saw how they were doing their thing she go she rented that house guys that house it's too expensive like extremely expensive that that house is just for billionaires miss trudy managed to rent that house for the family to enjoy you know it, it was just amazing in other news in other news Aaron Dante in Philippines 
He listened to my reaction. The first two videos Aaron Dante did in Philippines. He used to pick these videos and send to a, a, a reactor here in Kenya. An upcoming reactor. A very, very young upcoming reactor. Just because this reactor is the one that fights us. The main reactors. She fights us. I, she fights us in a way that she picks our content and then she turns our content upside down. For her, she doesn't like check on what Marwa did, David Jr. did, uh, so, so. You know, for us, we react on the public figures. But for her, she reacts on us, reactors. So she always picks our videos and then she'll be like disagreeing, 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 disagreeing. And that's the kind of person that Aaron Dante felt like is a friend to her. So she... So he sent the videos to her and she, she was the one who was posting the first two videos for Aaron Dante. When I said this thing, Aaron changed and Aaron started posting on his, on, on his channel the videos in Philippines. I was like, yes, that's how you're supposed to do your thing. Why would you pick the videos and send to someone else? If you're doing something and it's a straight thing, you know, something that when people call for accountability, and uh, transparency you're ready to come out because it's already on your channel right yeah so he came on his channel and he's been posting videos on his channel at some point i felt like yeah he listened to my reaction because i was like why would you be doing videos and giving someone else to post on their channel and they are your videos why can't you post them on your channel it sounds a little bit weird anyway that's what he's doing another thing i had uh, another reactor also talking about was uh, the issue about Aaron Dante using little poor children in the Philippines to scream out his brand. And according to what I had, I, I will play this video for you guys will listen to it. According to what I had, I, I was like, why would he take the little poor kids to be screaming out his brand? It's just like me going out there and telling the kids to be like, eh, eh, caro, eh, eh. and then, <laughs> you know, so I, I, I did not really understand why he did that. But according to this explanation, it is said that Aaron Dante is someone who is connected with the billionaires around and he has to go and show the billionaires what he's doing in Philippines so that he can get donations, you know. So he has to go and take these kids, uh, scream out his brand, scream out his name, scream out, you know, everything. And then, you know, he will take the, he will take those videos to his fellow billionaires, his fellow friends who are billionaires to help in, you know, donate money for these kids of which we are not even sure if really if these people donate to help these kids who have been screaming out his brand, will this money reach these kids? Or is he just using these kids to get money from his fellow billionaires? You know, that was the question that I was left with. I was like, we have known Aaron Dante with the GoFundMe that he did with Amarwa concerning the Indian kids. You know, there was no accountability and transparency in it. And yet... He's here again doing this thing with these little poor uh, Philippine kids. Yes, he will use those videos to spread around all over. And then people will be like, oh my God, let us help these kids. Let us help these kids. But our question here is that, will this money reach these kids? This is the big question. Because these kids, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're screaming about. They have no idea as to why they are screaming you know they are poor they are vulnerable you tell them to scream they, they'll just scream because you know you can give them a little you know stuff and then they'll be like excited and they'll be screaming around so in short it's like dante is using them to achieve his projects i don't know what to think guys what do you think let's listen to this video first before we proceed um you are Subscribers are not looking. You see, right now I'm talking about these things. Dante, the most richest guy, who also talks about rich and rich, just like uh, that, just like Ayamara does, you know, and talks about rich and rich and rich and rich. 
He's a richer, he's a billionaire, but he used the little kids, poor kids, to scream his his brand. You know? Do you think this is correct? To be screaming, DPX, the little kids, poor kids. So and where's his money? Where's his money? He's going to put the videos, he's going to send the videos to the people to donate. That's what is going to happen. Maybe he's going to send it to Leon, Ma Leon Musk. To say these little kids in Philippines, they need money. Please support my project because he worked for. He said he was a, an executive at, at uh, Lexus, you know, for the Elon Musk. So, he so what? Has, he so what happened to the multi millionaire? He knows many billionaires. He knows many millionaires. He has worked with the people that are worth the six hundred thousand, six hundred million dollars. He has worked for companies like that. So he's gonna take all those videos with the little kids screaming. It. What, what does he think? Who does he think he is? Right? Philippines is already rich, my bro. What do, who does he think he is? You know, busy using the kids, and we were talking about child labor. You see, right now I'm talking about these things. You don't make kids to do things they don't, they're not aware of. These are kids don't even know what the hell you are talking about. These are not conscious kids, I'm telling you. These are little kids. If you want to help them, don't display their lives on your YouTube channel and thinking you're going to get money and you're going to get the subscribers and you're going to get what? More views by putting a little kiss so people must feel sorry for you. This is the same thing that I'm saying that you guys, I'm saying it now and in future people are going, uh, uh, now people are going to say, hey, why now you're targeting what, you know, Dante? In the future they're going to say, no, Dante will, is, is, is bad, is bad. It take too long to process things. He has a restaurant in Vietnam. Now, we 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 guys this life is not our own this life is not our own the things that happen out here hmm, let's just leave it to god let's move on guys lastly i want to congratulate my brother fellow the boy fellow the boy fellow the boy fellow the boy congratulations for getting your pin me i'm still in, i'm still waiting for mine <laughs> I see the money dropping, 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 you know, accumulating. Actually, when my pin will come out, I will show you what I will do with mine, guys. I don't want to tell you in advance, okay? I know mine is coming in maybe a week or I don't know. But I just wanted to congratulate fellow the boy for getting his pin. It came so fast, fellow the boy. Congratulations. And congratulations also for the work that you do in the village, fellow the boy. I remember when you wanted to get into Marwa's trap, we saved you. And you've been helping a lot of people in the village. And I also want to give a very big shout out to Joint Hand Green Life Trees. Mr. John Bosco and Pamela, you are doing great work, guys. I have seen you transforming a lot of homes. I've seen you coming to visit Uncle Mo and bringing in a lot of trees, grass, flowers, explaining how they should, you know, keep their compounds clean and stuff. I really admired your work big time. I saw you, I saw David Jr. also getting some trees from you. I can imagine because I know the distance from Migori to Isebania. It's not, it's not a, a short distance. But I've seen you guys bringing in and changing people's lives. I've seen what you people have done at Mama Felista's home. Great work, guys. Keep on. And very soon, guys, I might be contacting you, but oh my God, you're too far away from me. I, but let me just wish you all the best in the program that you have already started with the planting trees in the schools. Already you've started with Asa in Migori, uh, Asa school. Uh, I do visit Migori a lot, a lot, a lot. When I come to Migori, I will come to visit you guys. You are doing great work, amazing work. Big shout out to John Bosco and Pamela. Big shout out to Joint Hands Green Life Trees. You are doing amazing job, guys. Keep up, keep up big time. This is the end of my video. Leave your comments down below. Let's discuss keyboard reactors. Come on on me. Let's talk about this thing. Let's analyze. Let us agree and disagree. I've talked about David Jr. I've talked about Miss Trudy. I've talked about Aaron Dante. I've talked...
everything that I've said in this video, guys. Come out, let's talk about this. Let's analyze this thing. Let's learn also from this, okay? Let's agree. Let's disagree, okay? Come on, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments always. Like this video. Share if you might. I'll be very grateful. Let's meet on the next one.